I'm going to say something which might be a little, not, not necessarily heavy, but this is just a little bit on neuroscience. Our brain, neurotransmitters communicate our, our thoughts to the rest of our bodies. You know, our thought, it, 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 it's something, a, a ball is coming towards me in high speed. My brain, my eyes will look at the ball and it'll give a signal to my brain to duck so mm. that the ball doesn't hit me. Okay, so neurotransmitters are sending and receiving signals and messages to the rest of our body, from our body to the brain, to the from the brain to our feelings, and vice versa, and all of that, and, and to our limbs right. to run, fire. Oh my goodness, my, my brain will say run, flee, or put it out, fight, mm. fight is where's the where's the whatever, and shh, you know you put it out, or if it's too big to handle, you call the. You, you, you call your emergency services, you run out of the house. You don't stand there and go, well, I'm not sure what to do. So, you know, <laughs> and so neurotransmitters are the brain's way of communicating with the rest of our body. Okay. <clears throat> it has been discovered. It has been discovered. And this is still being researched. And, and I would, if you want, if the viewer or the, the, the listener wants to Google neurobiology or neuroscience to understand how to... Uh, how to not overcome, but how to manage fear, whatever you can. There are a lot of writings, good scholarly writings. Please read scholarly writings and not just weird opinions by people that are not experts. But I've done some research on this and I've found, and many, many, many counselors have found this, that there are pathways that in our brain that processes um, thoughts and stuff like that. There are pathways that negative thoughts create. Neg constant, not one negative thought like, you know, oh my goodness, I look horrible. You know, no, that's not going to make an impact. But constant, regular, severe, emotionally disruptive thinking, negative thoughts, can cause literally lacerations. On the wow. Brain. Can cause lacerations, scratches and can eventually form a pathway where you will be stuck in the negative thought and stuck in depression and anxiety without getting out of it, without being able to get out of it, unless you, you, you take medication. That's, as I said, not a cure, but a, but a, a coping mechanism. Mm -hmm. at, 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 the, at best, it's, medication is coping mechanisms. Similar to how negative thoughts can cause these pathways, like a trench, Mm -hmm. It's it, enough lacerations, it, for, it causes a little trench in, your, in the synaptic pathways, in the, you know, in the transmitters, that your brain now, w whenever there's a situation, your brain goes into automatic negative mode, mm -hmm. automatic, anxious, fearful thinking, rather than positive, good thinking. Similarly, if you, you can, the only way to replace it is to force your brain to call out that negative thought, to expose the negative thought, and to impose on the negative thought a positive outcome. When you keep getting into the habit, like you said just now, I, what word did you use? You get You're training it. You train your mind, very good word, you train your mind, you get into a habit of positive thinking, that what happens is there would become another pathway. A positive mm. pathway it will, that will that will that will be there parallel, and then that negative pathway will soon be healed because the brain is an organ; mm -hmm. it can wow. self heal. Yeah. If it's given a chance, it can self heal. Yeah. But if you don't give it a chance, then you continue. You are actually hurting your own brain by these toxic emotions. Negative thinking uh, is toxic. It's toxic mm. to our health. It's toxic to our well being our emotional well-being, mental health, being, spiritual well-being. And that is why, that is why in the scripture it says, as a man thinketh, he actually becomes it. Wow. Jesus was talking about our brain. Yeah. None of us actually, not none of us, but many people don't think that he was talking about brain. He was just, they saying, oh, that sounds like a nice, you know, spiritual phrase you know as a man thinketh so i need to think right in mm. order to 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 control my destiny it's true but he was thinking about the brain's capacity to be trained yeah if you train it right your destiny will follow mm. how you think because how we think is what we're going to choose to do and what you choose to do will affect your destiny 